IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello Braves, this is Rama Starter along with Julian Lambert with our second episode of Fourth Quarter that is being produced away from our studio. Now, let's get on with the news. Thanks Rama. Well, it seems every week there are new orders changing during this COVID-19 pandemic. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has extended the K-12 closure through May 1st. Consequently, we will continue distance learning throughout this time. All of our normal spring activities have been put on hold or have been canceled. However, we here at Brave Z will continue to keep you updated as this information is shared. Yes, Julianne. What this new order means is that campus will remain closed through May 1st. During this time, access to all facilities, including athletic fields, will be restricted for staff, students, parents, and community members. Only essential operational staff members will be allowed to access our facilities to continue to provide food and services to our students who need those resources. Everyone should continue to monitor the district website for the latest school-related information as the situation unfolds. Check out the link in the description to access our coronavirus information website for quick links to important resources. So what about testing? Sailor Betts interviewed Assistant Superintendent Dr. Melissa Stewart with the new testing guidelines. Roll the interview. Hey Braves, I'm Sailor Betts and I'm here with Dr. Stewart, the Assistant Superintendent of the Indian Hill School District. And we're here to answer some of your most frequently asked questions about the fourth quarter grading policy. So first of all, how are fourth quarter grades going to be different from the previous quarters? For fourth quarter, we're gonna to move towards a pass and incomplete grading system. Okay, sounds good. And second, how are the fourth quarter grades going to affect the GPA, kind of as you mentioned earlier, within Indian Hills own grading system? Our students have always had a transcript at Indian Hill High School that's passed on to universities, and that transcript has always just shown the end of the course grade. So for a full year class, it is just one single letter grade that has always been shown, and that will be the same. So the, the pass or the incomplete will not be on the transcript that university see it'll just be the letter grade and that letter grade will be an average of quarter one quarter two and quarter three so and finally i think you kind of already answered this question but it's more directed towards upperclassmen for how colleges are going to view those pass and incomplete grades especially for juniors who are starting their applications or seniors who are sending their final transcript Seniors, we had lots of conversations with college admission officers and what they told us really is that fourth quarter will not have a bearing on what happens in your admissions process. Thank you very much for taking the time to be here and be part of this virtual interview and I'm sure that this will be very informative to many students and help to resolve a lot of uncertainty. So students, if you have any other questions regarding the fourth quarter grading policy, be sure to contact Dr. Stewart at the email address shown. Stay safe, Braves, and back to you guys. In addition to these grading guidelines, there are several additional important test decisions that were approved by our state government, such as eliminating state mandating testing for the 2019-2020 year, and of course exams have been weighed by the legislature, Class of 2021 ACT testing requirements have been waived and traditional face-to-face -face AP exams will not take place on campus this school year. How are pets handling everyone being home all day? Well, several of our teachers sent in photos of them with their pets. Let's check them out. In one of the premier science competitions in the nation, Indiana High School made school history. The Indiana High School Science Olympiad team placed fourth in the Southwest Science Olympiad Regional competition, earning a spot to compete at state. Congratulations, Braves! Indian Hill School District students earned first place during the regional competition. First place in anatomy and physiology, Amitesh Verma and Kathy Ning. Fifth place in Boom Liver, Peter Zhang and Vivek Alamuri. First place in designer jeans, Faye Hardick and Will Ford. First place in disease detectives and in food science, Elsa Zhao and Caroline Brown. First place in heredity, Elsa Zhao. 
The Ohio School Board Association recognized the Indian Hill School District with three awards during the Southwest Regional Meeting on March 10th. Indian Hill Board of Education member Elizabeth Johnson received the 15-year Milestone in School Board Service Award. Director of Communications Heather Higdon was named the 2020 Outstanding Community Public Relations Person. And the Indian Hill Board of Education received the OSBA Gold Level Achievement Award. Congratulations! In honor of Assistant Principals Week, Jake Summerall had a chance to check in with Mr. Hayes. Roll the clip. Hey Braves Nation, congratulations on making it through week two of distance learning. I know that you guys are all staying incredibly sharp mentally through all of your hard work on Canvas and through Google Meets and Zooms with your teachers. That being said, there's a direct correlation between mental health and physical well-being. And during these trying times, it can be difficult to have access and resources to help you stay physically fit. Also, with social distancing, it can be hard to have a workout partner to keep you motivated. So I'm here today, in all seriousness, to give you some tips and tricks of the trade on how you can stay active, mentally sharp, and physically fit during these tough times. Let's go. One of the best things you can do to warm up is do jumping jacks. It's a great way to get your heart rate going, and if you can have a partner help you out, it keeps you all the more motivated. And I've got one right here. Let's go, Pharaoh. Come on, you're losing steam. So we all know that body squats are a great workout. That being said, with limited access to gyms, it can be hard to have resistance training. But I've got a modified version here, what I like to call front-facing French Bulldog squats. They're incredibly difficult and challenging. This little guy weighs about 20 pounds, so it adds a lot of resistance. If you're somebody stronger than me, like maybe David Slattery, you might need a German Shepherd or something. But here we go. One. Two, three, 99, and 100. Perfect job, Farrah. Great job once again, leading the way. All right, so another great exercise would be weight-resisted crunches. I've got Farrah here once again to help me out along the way. He's been doing a great job all day. So here we go. And one, two, and three, and 99, and 100. Great job, Vero! All right, so wrapping up, we all know that nutrition is an incredibly vital part of staying physically fit and mentally sharp. So after your intense workout, it's important to stay not only hydrated, but to have a little bit of protein to help fuel your mind, body, and soul. So I always do that, and it's mainly because I'm motivated by this little guy to do so. Vero always makes sure he consumes a wealth of protein. Have a great day, Braves. Have a great weekend. Back to you guys at the studio. Thank you, Jake and Mr. Hayes. This Sunday is Easter. I'm sure things will be very different than your normal traditions, but if you do celebrate the holiday, make sure you celebrate it with those who live in your household and are social distancing with you. Here's a fun fact about Easter. It is the second biggest candy consuming holiday with Halloween being the first. Last year, Americans spent almost $2 billion on Easter candy. Once again, the National Association of Music Merchants has designated the Indian Hill School District as one of the best in the nation for musical education. The NAM Foundation awarded Indian Hill a Best Communities for Musical Education Award on April 7th. Since schools are shut down, yearbooks are being completed at a distance. Tons of great stories have been submitted into the yearbook by the student body, and now Ms. Piper is asking all of you to go through your gallery, your Twitter feed, your Instagram accounts, etc., and find pictures of fun events from this year to put into the yearbook. Any photo you would like to be considered for the yearbook can be added to their shared drive folder. Check out the link in the description to access the folder. Well, that's all the news that we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on Twitter, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And as always, stay, stay classy, classy, Indian Hill. Hill. Hello, Indian Hill. I um, couldn't think of anything funny, so uh, it's just going to be uh, dogs. Pretty much it, really. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty much it, actually.